My name is Brandon Lewis, and I am a patrolman here at Southwestern Oklahoma State University Police Department. For the first few years of my life, I actually wanted to be an airline pilot, but then I changed that and actually decided I wanted to be a police officer. Um, I actually got my bachelor's here at Swasu in Parks and Wildlife Law Enforcement with Cleet, and I got a minor in the Emergency Medical Services and EMT. Swasu PD is a very unique place being here at the university. The university has had a big impact on my own life. Um, I love being here. I have family that work at the university, and my wife even is a student here. And so being able to be close to my wife, my brother, um, and weather for some. A uh, typical day for me is um, coming in, um, checking the COVID vaccine temperatures throughout the day, um, talking to students, walking through the dorms, talking to the RAs, talking to students, make sure everything's going okay, make sure if they have any questions. Um, sometimes I go and see if any students have trouble starting their vehicles, jump starting them, um, helping them change the tire, uh, going around talking to teachers, professors on campus, see if they have problems with students in their classrooms. And then I usually kind of go through the administration building talking to some of the uh, vice presidents and presidents as well. <laughs> I would say one of the most uh, memorable things for me is just helping people, getting to know them, being able to go and help someone on their worst day is, it's a life changing thing. Because you see someone at their absolute worst, they can't go any lower, and you can just step in and be a light to them, light in the darkness, and then help them throughout their day and bring them back to what their normal life is like. And that's a big deal because some people don't want to fill in that gap, but if you can do that for someone, it means the world's not. So the summer of, I believe, 2018 or 2019, I actually had an internship for my Parson Wildlife Law Enforcement. And I chose that internship to be at the Grand Canyon National Park. And while I was there, I was actually a search and rescue medic uh, for over the rim operations. Sometimes someone would fall over the rim and we would do a rope system and go over and pull them over. Um, this was very impactful for me in my own life because I was actually able to um, help save people that were wounded that didn't fall completely off and die. But in some cases, I was able to intervene and actually help stop some people who were having suicidal thoughts. Um, and so that really kind of helped push me in the direction of law enforcement, mm -hmm. of being the first person to be able to talk to someone, talk the escalation down, um, and try to reason with them and try and bring peace and clarity to the moment. Many Slosa students probably, like young people usually do, have a little bit of a problem with police sometimes or just see them as a higher authority, somebody who wants to tell them what to do. Mm -hmm. What do you say to those people? <laughs> I think that's natural in every single person. We have that independence of don't tell me what to do, or don't tell me how I can live my life. And that's a perfect, perfect, perfectly natural reaction. Um, it's just most people are mis uh, misinformed about the police. The police are here actually to help preserve the peace and we're actually labeled public servants. And so we're here to help the people, not tell them what to do. Anything that we do is actually trying to be for the people and for them. Um, so we're never against them, we just may have more information that they do at the moment, and we're just trying to help. You know, I've done this several times where I see a student and they just look sad or possibly depressed. And so I wanna go over and talk to them like, hey, you know, how's your day doing? Okay, uh, you go here to the university? Yeah, what's your major? Okay, well, how's your day been? And it's not a casual conversation because sometimes the small conversations in life can have a very big impact. Because you have no idea what's going on in their life and just being a small positive moment to them can mean the world to them.